Hi there, Myrna Loy, aka Black Bright News. Um, today's video, um, I'm doing this one and it's, I'm calling it Train a Man in the Way He Should Go. Now normally that applies to a child, they say um, train a child in the way it should go, um, spare the rod and all that kind of stuff and, and save the child. But when you're thinking about relationships, especially with um, a lot of men, that's not to degrade men or put them down. Um, it is like, um, well, it sounds a bit um, patronising, but it is like a lot of the time having a child. And when, um, especially, and that can't, that wouldn't be all men, of course, I always have to put that disclaimer, but you have men that, I'm always trying to be polite. Why don't I just say it like it is? Okay, I'm going to say it like it is. Um, you have men that come into your life. They haven't got anything to offer, but they're nice people. And as a woman, you can help build them up if they're willing to listen, if they're not obstinate. Now, that does sound a bit condescending, I know, but it happens. It happens a lot. Um, I've had lots of people write to me and send me messages and talking about this situation where men come into their lives, they either not working or they have job seekers allowance or they have, um, uh, they're making a little money on the side, but not enough to contribute to a relationship. Um, on top of that, um, they play a lot of silly games they're not talking honestly, they're making up excuses, and they're just like kids. And it's just like, for Christ's sake, grow up. Now, okay, if we're gonna train a man in the way he must go, the first thing I would say is that if you borrow money, repay it. Now, we have a lot of men who, because of whatever reason, they're not in the same financial position as females. Now, females might have a little more, more liquid cash, so they are more likely to be able to help if they feel the need. A lot of women, I know a hell of a lot of women, who have lent money to men and it hasn't been repaid. And so they become apprehensive about lending it again. And when that happens more than once, regardless of whether it's £10, £100, £1,000, it doesn't matter. Debts must be repaid. And if you're going to be a man, Number one, you shouldn't really ask a woman for money anyway in the first place. But if you do need to ask her for money, you ask her for money, you tell her when you're going to pay it back and you pay it back on that date. You don't even ask for it if you haven't got a plan, a solid, secure plan on how you're going to pay it back. There's nothing worse than lending somebody money and you're having to grovel and ask and beg and then the relationship breaks down because as far as you're concerned, you can't trust them, they're untrustworthy and whatever the reason is. I mean, a lot of, I don't know if it's a lot, but quite a few uh, men who borrow money, they seem to think it's not important. It's almost like they have to put their needs first and then they'll pay you back when they're ready. I mean, I'm not quite sure how that goes because if I lend somebody money, I'm going to go out of my way to lend that person money. I'm, you know, uh, of course I'm going to check whether or not I can actually afford it. But I'm going to go through my systems and say, okay, find out when they need the money, give it to them within the time frame they need the money, and I expect it back when they say they're going to pay it back. That doesn't happen 99% of the time. Sadly, it doesn't happen. So, number one, repay your debts. Number two, stop playing games, stop testing. It doesn't prove anything. You'll find a lot of men, they um, they play these games to see how you're going to react, whether it's they're not going to call you, whether it's um, they try to wind you up, or whether it's um, if you're out, they're not going to pay for a drink or buy you anything to see if you're going to say anything. 
ah, the games are endless. You know, they don't call you for ages and then they turn up and call you and behave like nothing's happened. And then they have a, they have a go at you if you have an attitude to see how they can push you to see if you're a bunny boiler, to see um, what type of person you are. Stop playing the games. It doesn't prove a thing. It really doesn't prove a thing. All it proves is that a woman is going to look at you and think, look, you know, if he's treating me like that, um, as far as they, they're going to construe it as um, lack of respect. And if he's treating me like that, I don't want to have anything to do with him. And that's how it that's how it goes. Um, what else can you do to train a man? Your word is your bond. Say what you mean and mean what you say. That's all I'm going to say on that one. Your word must be your bond. This is all about building trust, building respect for men, our black men, building them up so we can trust them again and make them into secure, stable men. Instead of looking at them as weak, as liars, as unreliable, we don't want to do that. But the legacy you're leaving, the majority of you are leaving, is forcing us to have that opinion of you. So stop the lies, stop the borrowing and just get your act together. Another thing, find a job. For those of you who are not working, find a job. And none of this, oh, well, you know, I don't really want to do that. I'm qualified in this. I'm qualified in that. There's nothing less attractive than a man without a job who's dossing all day, not doing anything, calling you every bloody five minutes because they've got time on their hands. Nothing less attractive. I don't care if you've got muscles. I don't care if you've got a six pack. I don't care if you look like Idris Elba. I don't care and nor do my female um, compadres. They don't care either. You've got to be able to be self-sufficient. Even if you're not in a position to help the woman, be in a position to help yourself. Stop bloody using the woman to get to, as a stepping stone to get you where you are. It's not right. So that's the other thing. What else? Yes, save. How much money have you got? Have you saved? I don't want your money, but I do need to know that you've got the discipline to save money. If you've got 50 pounds, save five, save three, save something. Have something to fall back on in hard times. No point, you know, living from day to day, using up all your money, and then you're saying, oh, well, I had this bill to pay and I had that bill to pay, and oh, I ain't got no money left, and oh, I've got this to do, and oh, I've got to buy a phone card, and oh, I've got to, I ain't got no money to get home and all this kind of crap. Honestly, are you five years old, please? Are you a teenager? No, you're not. You're a grown bloody man. Get a grip. Look after yourself, look after your savings. Another thing, health. Look after your health. Stop eating crap, crisps and biscuits and cakes and Coke and lemonade. What's wrong with you, man? You have a beer belly, big beer belly. You're not even 40. Some of you in your 40s, 50s, you look about 70. You know, what's all that about? Look after yourself. Nobody wants somebody who's not looking after yourself. And if you've got this myth that you can go go around without making an effort, you're, you're living in a different planet because no woman with any, and no self-respecting woman is going to want somebody who's not taking care of themselves, who smokes like a bloody trooper, who drinks like a drunkard and who's not working and who's lying and goodness knows what else. This is only ear, those who have ears, let them hear. OK, so it doesn't apply to everybody, of course, like I said before. That's my disclaimer. Ah, so, um, yeah. And once you've saved, if you've got money to left over, then you can buy your luxuries. If you want to buy gold, if you want to buy silver, if you want to buy designer clothes, if you want to buy a nice car, if you want to rent a nice room or if you want to buy a house, cool. But say first, don't buy all this stuff and have nothing for a rainy day and expect a woman to bail you out. It's not right. And some of these men, they want women to bail them out. They've even known them three or four days. And then that's the time they're asking, oh, you know, this has happened. Oh, I was expecting this money. And oh, you know, 
It's so annoying. Anyway, I hope this is building up those men who need it. Probably the men who don't need it are the one who are watching it. But if if you don't need it and you are watching it, please direct men who do need it to this website. We need strong men. We need men with gumption. We need men with strength. We need men with ambition. We need men with passion. We need men with conviction. You know, we don't want these weak, wayward men who are flowing in the wind and going like leaves blowing all over the bloody place. Who've got no roots, who've got no foundation. They're just stepping from one place to the other, looking for some, you know, fragile woman to, to hitch on like a friggin' mosquito. Excuse my French. But it's irritating. You know, they're just latching on to whoever they think is, is, is easy game. It doesn't work like that because even those one who are easy game, they're going to get peed off. You're going to end up on your own, 50s, 60s, without anyone. So, please take my simple advice and look after yourself, look after your health, look after your money, look after your future. Boom, that's all. That's all I've got to say, peeps.